हेलो गाइस, आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम विशाली की कान एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द ऑप्टिकल कम्युनिकेशन टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द क्वांटम एफिशिएंसी। ब्रॉडली वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ क्वांटम एफिशिएंसी, द एक्सटर्नल क्वांटम एफिशियंसी इंटरनल क्वांटम एफिशियंसी एंड द टोटल क्वांटम एफिशियंसी सो वी आर स्टार्टिंग आर डिस्कशन विद द क्वांटम एफिशियंसी I know something about efficiency. We all know what is efficiency. The output produced per unit input supplied. So this is the efficiency. I want more efficiency or less efficiency. I want more and more efficiency. So now let's start our discussion with the external quantum efficiency. What is external quantum efficiency? We are supplying current or we are supplying the electrons to the cavity. So here we are giving electrons and cavity is producing the photons. So if I increase the number of electrons, so if E becomes E plus DE, we will be having P plus DP increase in the number of photons as well. So external quantum efficiency provides me increase in the number of photons per unit increase in the number of electron so external quantum efficiency is increase in the photon output rate for given increase in injected electrons i hope you understood this thing so it is represented by eta d you have to remember this symbol so eta d is representing the external quantum efficiency so here we will be having the dpe upon hf which represents the increase in the photons and di by e represents the increase in the current so now here we will be having the dpe hf upon e will be giving me eg so dpe upon eg into di gives me eta d right so i hope you understood all of the things p is optical power emitted the output emitted power I is the current, E is the charge on the electron. We all know this thing. One point six into ten raised to power minus nineteen coulomb. H F is the photon energy, and this is the reason H F upon E is represented as E G, which was the band gap energy. I hope you understood all these things. Now, external quantum efficiency is used to define the slope of output characteristic. Now, in the output characteristics, we have the power versus the input current. right so the power versus input current graph will be having the slope which is determined by the eta d and this is the reason eta d is also called as slope quantum efficiency right so it measures the change in optical output power with change in current so it is having the range in between 40% to 60% which is very less and we are working on increasing this efficiency now coming to the internal quantum efficiency now what is internal quantum efficiency these are the photon produced in the cavity per unit injected electron so we are supplying electrons and photons are produced inside the cavity so as soon as the electrons are supplied so the photons are produced so internal quantum efficiency defines the photon produced per unit injected electrons and it has the range 50% to 100% now why the external quantum efficiency is lesser than the internal quantum efficiency because some of the photons are getting absorbed some of the photons are emitted out of the cavity so some photon losses would also be there and this is the reason this efficiency the external quantum efficiency would always be lesser than the internal quantum efficiency so now we have some relation which defines the relation between the quantum efficiencies the internal quantum efficiency and the external quantum efficiency so internal quantum efficiency is represented by the symbol eta i so eta d is equal to eta i 1 upon 1 plus 2 alpha l ln 1 upon r1 by r2 so ln is the log term over here r1 and r2 are the reflectivities of the two mirror so these are the cleaved mirror reflectivities l is the length of the cavity so here we have l upon ln 1 by r1 into r2 so alpha is a loss coefficient of the laser cavity because there will be some losses and alpha is measuring the loss 
and it gives it is the loss coefficient of the photons inside the cavity so now coming to the total efficiency so if i give electron and we have some output photons after losses right so we are supplying the electrons we are generating photons but inside the cavity we will be having some losses then the total efficiency is going to give me the total output photons right it is including all of the photons that are lost as well so we will be having some lesser number of photons which are output per unit total number of injected electrons so pe upon hf divided by i upon e so here we will be having dpe change in photon divided by the change in current so here we will be having pe divided by hf divided by i by e which can be represented as pe upon i into eg so now here pe changes linearly when the current is greater than the threshold current and then i can have the relationship between the external quantum efficiency and the total quantum efficiency so total quantum efficiency when i am working above the threshold current it will be equal to the external quantum efficiency into 1 minus ith upon i right so external power efficiency in converting electrical input to the optical output so this is the external power efficiency so in the terms of power also i can represent if i have the electrical signal i am getting the optical output so it would be pe upon input signal multiplied with 100 so input will be the electrical signal which can be represented as dc signal which has the power i into v so pe upon iv into 100 so now the eta op can also be represented as eta t to eg upon v so i can represent the pe as i eta t eg upon now here i will be cancelling out and i will be left out with eta t eg upon v into 100% so this is how i can represent the various quantum efficiencies i hope you understood each one of these things if you have any doubt you can put the doubt in the comment and i will be trying to resolve your doubt as soon as possible i hope you like this session if you like it please push the like button subscribe to the channel share it with your friends and give me your feedback thank you so much